Hi, right, this is just going to be a quick video on how to convert your SDM lens over to ScrewDrive. This is the 50 to 135 on the uh, Pentax K52. I've already got it successfully converted. And it's a little bit louder because it's on the desk here. But as you can see, I successfully got that done. Okay, so I'm just going to walk you through the steps exactly how I was able to get that done. First thing you're going to want to do is actually go over to pktether.com. And I'm going to have all the links of this stuff below, so don't worry. But uh, I actually went ahead and downloaded their PK Tethering software. I'm going to run that. Okay. And run. Okay, so that's going to pop up. You can see it right here. You take your uh, USB cable that uh, came with your camera and just go ahead and plug that into the side here. Right inside there. I got it turned around the right way. Okay. Got that plugged in. So PK Tether will actually see that you have the camera and will pick that up. I just had and turn it off and back on. You know what? I probably need to put the SD card back inside of it. All right. SD card in the camera. Off and back on. And it picked it up. There it sees the camera. Okay. So there you go. I didn't know that you had to do it that way. But anyway, make sure that you're plugged in. Make sure you have the SD card inside the camera. Okay. All right, and it's gonna freak out, you know, I don't know. Anyway, click on this, click debug mode on. All right, so this should say, it actually said PC vendor there for like a second. If you click menu and you scroll over to like past this, it'll actually click on, okay, you'll see this test mode. You can't do what you need to do inside here, okay? This is just, you're, you're partially there. All right, well, PK Tether, the one of the nice things it does for you is it forces you to open up your SD card. Okay? All right. So we've used PK Tether. We've connected it. We're in debug, debug mode. And we can actually put this away now. All right. So I'm actually, you're going to need these files. I'm going to show you how you get them. Uh, so basically, there is a file here on uh, Dropbox you're going to need to go get. So you get, I'll show you. The root of it will actually have a couple different. We have um, got the K3, we got the K5, we got the K52, 2S, 30, the S2. For this tutorial, uh, I actually use the K52. So uh, you download these two files, and uh, I've already done that, and uh, I saved them to a folder. All right. So anyway, you want to copy these to the root of your SD card, which we're using again. We're using the computer through PK Tether. We are connected, so the SD card is mounted here. All right, so you grab these two files and you just quite literally copy them over to your SD card. All right, so this is the part where I was, you know, really confused because I just I think I couldn't get it work. So let's see if it'll do exactly. This is the second time I've gone through this. Um, I didn't push any buttons. I just well, first I had it unplugged. All right, and then you turn it off and back on. And bada boom, you're in the menu. All right, this is where you needed to go. Okay, so um, don't you don't have to push any buttons. There's some people that say you have to push. I'm gonna set this down actually. There's some people that say that you need to push like menu as this comes on. You don't have to. PK Tether got us in development mode. You put the files on your SD card. You turn it on. You're good to go. And uh, I do have a slightly broken screen here, so yours shouldn't look like that. Hopefully. All right. Next thing you want to do is scroll down until you see this okay so um, and uh, just to make sure this is the one you want right here what this is going to do is it's going to pull the ROM data out of the camera and put it on your SD card okay so we'll go ahead and do that press it wait for a second or two and we're done okay so turn off your camera now I have a card reader and the way I did it was pulling this out. I don't know if I could connect it again and use PK Tether, but I'm just going to hook it right back in to my card reader. But give me a second. I just have to do this.
I'm gonna set you down for a second. Okay, I'm I'm plugging it in. I, I'm sorry I had to set the camera down. I'm one-handed operation here. All right, here we go, and my card pop X up, and bada boom, we have this Lin, we have this Lin LNS file. Okay, so what I did is I actually in my folder on my desktop I made a hack my camera backup. Okay, so I had already saved my debug mode files. And I also have this 50 to 135 conversion folder. In here, I put my original, and then I have my edited. All right. So uh, for the purposes of this, I actually am going to make a copy of the original because the one that just pulled out of my this one here is already edited. Okay, that's actually this file right now. So you would want to cop make a backup of this, and then you would want to edit this. Okay, so. I have my original, I have my edited. I'm going to make a copy of this whole folder. Copy. And I have a copy of the original. Okay, so keep in mind, at the end of the day, you want to keep a backup, okay? I'm just trying to show you how to edit this. All right. So I'm actually going to right click this, and I have something called Notepad. All right. So I uh, opened it up. It actually came up on this other monitor. I'm going to move over here. This is what the file looks like. All right. You want to edit all of the CO's in column 3 and change that over to, and it's not CO, it's C0 change that from C0 to 80, okay? So I actually went up here and I believe I did a search, I did a find and what's nice is I could do find all the CO's and replace with 80. Now in my particular file, hold on, see I went back over to find I'm gonna hit find next and you're gonna see all of the COs pop up. Now in mine, there were only two that were not in column three. One was here in 05, and that was actually right here on this 03 EO. The next one was here on this row. So what I did was I just copied this row or copied this down, I just wrote it down, as you can see right here. I wrote those down, I just knew, okay, those actually need to be C0, not 8-0. Alright, so I went back to my editor, and then I changed it from that to replace. So I said replace all the C0s with 8-0, okay? And so I said replace all. Boom. And it did it. Okay? All done. And then I went to my columns, which you already know that this column in row 5 has an 8 zero now. I need that to be C0. So I deleted that. C0. Good. And then I scrolled up. Let me scroll up. Let me scroll up. I want it to be that. Okay. Ooh. Don't let it do that to you. All right. I scrolled up. And I'm looking for... 03EO, 02s, 03EO, column 5, right here. C, O. Okay, we're good. And then you save it. And it needs to say the same name. Okay. So uh, go back to that. This is my original. That would be copied, right? So you go back to your. We're back on this SD card. Right here. Okay. And uh, this is the one that would be technically your original. So we'll just hit delete. Okay. Yep. All right. Now remember, you made a backup of your original. This is the copy. This is the one you edited. We just got done doing. And I copy that here. All right. It's in the fruit of the card. You need to leave these develop, you know, that develop.m mod file and this other dot uh, five three six file. Okay. Got those all saved. We're gonna pull card out. I don't normally eject. As long as it's not writing to the card, I think it doesn't cause any problems. Our door's already open. Here we go. Slide it in. Okay. Turn on, don't hold the menu or anything. We are not we're not plugged in still, okay? Just on the SD card. Alright. You scroll back down to 
the lens. Okay. The last one we did was this one. You want to press this one and you hit OK. I'm not going to do it. But when you do it, basically it loads that file onto your camera. Or onto the lens, sorry. And it, the first time I did it, it said failed. Don't freak out. Just turn it off, back on, press it again, okay? And you'll actually see it. It'll have like a, it'll say wait, dot, dot, dot. And then you'll see it loading and it'll go through all the numbers uh, like that. Like, for example, these numbers that we saw. You'll see it scrolling on the screen trying to get through that. When it's done, you'll come back to the screen, okay? So what I did was I hit menu, which canceled it. I hit menu again. I was back at the camera and I just tested my autofocus and I was working. And then all I did was I went here, scrolled over to my SD card. Oops, I didn't format yet. I went down, oops. I went over, down to the debug mode, disable, clicked it, over, disable debug mode. Press menu again. And I formatted my card. And now we have a successfully converted lens. And you're out of debug mode. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff anymore. So I hope this is helpful. I will have all of the links in the description. Uh, I was not able to do this on my own. I did not hack this on my own. I had lots of support at Pentex Forms, and uh, you know I've actually strung this all together. Uh, if you feel like this is a bit too daunting, I know in the marketplace there, there is a user, and uh, he's excuse me, he's actually doing this for people. Um, he's not trying to make a lot of money off of it. He's just trying to help everyone out who has these particular lenses who may be having issues with the uh, SDM failing. Anyway, good luck, and uh, I hope you're able to convert it as successfully as I have been. Thanks. Bye-bye.